two really good practices uh, this week, I feel like, uh, yesterday and today. And uh, I think we, again, I, I feel like we're continuing to improve. This will be a great test for us. Uh, this is a really, really good football team, as we know. But uh, practice has gone well this week. And uh, again, we've got to continue to you know, maintain a level of focus uh, again tomorrow and Friday and, and uh, to give ourselves a chance to win. But I feel like uh, I feel like we made some progress this week, again, uh, in some areas. So, uh, you know, one more day of practice, and, and again, we, uh, we need it, but uh, practice went well this week. Anything new on Emory, or is he still about the same as he was yesterday? He didn't practice tonight. And so, uh, again, you know, I'm going to use the word doubtful, but again, we'll keep trying to uh, bring him, bring him up to speed game time, uh, but uh, again he didn't practice tonight. With, with him out, without him out there, D'Angelo, those other guys, have you seen them kind of step up there? Play they really them? have, and, and you know it's great to see guys like D'Lo. You know, as I said earlier in the week, guys like D'Lo, Javante Stallworth, Juan Bray, um, uh, Jalen Denson, more young guy. Uh, you know, those guys just have to step up. So, um, you know, the bottom line is, is that. Uh, doesn't matter who's playing out there, you know somebody's got to, you know somebody's got to step in and, and play a great role. Uh, D'Lo again had a, as, as we mentioned earlier in the week, you know he had a great catch uh, at a huge time in the ball game Saturday night. So you're just gonna have to make a few of those. How about Chris Davis? Has he been able to do much this week? Uh, he's done a little more. Uh, again, we're uh, you know he's practiced some. Uh, we're gonna keep treating him and, and keep bringing him up to game time. To see where we're at, but uh, again, um, you know, we'll, we'll we'll see where he's at by Saturday. Now that you've seen the finished product of the, I'm sure you've seen it before tonight, but the, the ESPN production, you're the quarterback. Was it a worthwhile thing to, to go through to have them? Well, I haven't seen it. Yet. Oh, you still haven't seen it. No, okay. I have I have not seen it. So uh, you know, I hope it was it was you know it was great exposure for Auburn football to the fans and recruits and and. Uh, you know, it was just good for our football team, even uh, with the exposure that you know we're going to get with that. So, but I have not seen that myself. Were there any moments where you were like, "Gosh, I don't know if I want a camera here"? Like, you know, the, especially the, the emotional times when you're talking to the quarterbacks. Where did you ever have? Oh, gosh, you know. You know, there's parts that are hard. I mean, quite honestly, there's parts that are hard to let people in and and you know, see what the inside daily routine is of what we do and how we do it. Uh, so there's there's times when it was certainly challenging for me. Well, that's not always my personality, but uh, but again, in, in the name of trying to, uh, you know, expose the fans and recruits and other people to Auburn football and what we try to do here every day, I thought it was, uh, you know, I thought it was a, a positive experience. Anthony Morgan was a guy we didn't see last week on the trip. What's his status right now? Um, right now, it looks like uh, Anthony's not going to be making this trip. Uh, it looks like he may be out for the year. And... Um, so again, we're going to continue to uh, kind of monitor him and evaluate him. But right now, that's that's what it looks like. Did he get hurt in practice or something? Uh, he's he's got an injury that uh, occurred uh, that was not uh, necessarily on the practice field. But I'm not going to get into details. It was an accident. And so again, we're going to continue to monitor it. Uh, but it does not look good that he will return for the year. It's just kind of off topic. But I don't think we've asked about him this year. Drew Cole, has he kind of moved into like a student coaching type role? I mean, I, I just see him with, you know, with right. the coaches and all that well, stuff. Well, he, he helps us a lot with those type of things, with, uh, you know, signaling and, and doing some things that kind of assumes the role of a coach. Uh, you know, he's smart and he can help us with different things. But he's also involved in our special team still as well. So, uh, but he does a good job for us.